crisis, your first instinct, call 911, right? Right, absolutely. But have you ever wondered what happens after you call for help? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent is live for us, lifting the curtain, giving us a behind the scenes look. Hey, Twilan. Good morning, Ed and Katie. You know, I'm really excited about today because often you don't think about 911 until you need to call them, and it's not the great time to think about exactly what happens there. But this is the dispatch center. Very quiet this morning, and you know what? For their sake, hopefully it stays that way. But we've got somebody to talk to us this morning just a little bit about behind the scenes. We have Derek this morning, who is a very important person because he handles one of the busiest areas of the city. Derek, what is your coverage area here? I actually am currently dispatching the uh, city of Buffalo right now okay. the entire city limits every call that goes out in the city that's a huge city and a lot of stuff to cover so talk to me a little bit about um, when you get a call what happens here uh, when, when someone calls 911 what happens is we'll uh, we'll answer the phone and we'll go through uh, our intro here we have a set of cards that tells us exactly what to say uh, we basically get all their information where they are their phone number so we can call them back and what's going on um, and then we go to a you know say this person is bleeding we would then go to the hemorrhage card and uh, this gives us instructions and it gives us uh, things to tell them to control the bleeding until the ambulance arrives and we can mm -hmm. that and way. you guys you're staying calm throughout this whole thing so I commend you for that but here I thought having two computer screens was a lot he's got eight here so kind of walk us through what you're looking at every morning here oh well this one over here is the tracking that uh, tells me where all the ambulances are we can look and see where any ambulance in the system is um, this screen here is where all our call taking stuff is our open work screen any calls that we have pending uh, this is where all the ambulances are in the city of Buffalo and the surrounding areas actually and then these other ones, these other screens are just internet. Uh, you know, I got the weather up. I got a uh, map of the city of Buffalo so we can use, you know, Google Streets to kind of get a better idea of what, uh, where we're sending our crews. Fantastic. You know what, guys? Just a little tidbit of what's going on here today. I am so excited because we have so many more things that we're going to show you about all the life in the day of an EMT, a paramedic, very important stuff and some things you maybe not know. And I'm really excited to show you all about. Uh, so this is dispatch here again, just a really important part of calling 911 and seeing what happens there. But of course, stick with us in the morning. We're going to show you some more behind the scenes stuff yeah. live in the east side of Bakersfield, Tweelon <laughs> Region 7A. Uh, you know, Tweelon used to work in Bakersfield at our sister station, AB tw ABC 23. She's here on the east side of Buffalo. That's now. right. Yeah, <laughs> she's got that. But how awesome to see all those people behind the scenes. It, it is. I mean, they have a really hard job. They have to stay calm in the, yeah. in the face of so much adversity, Such too. Such an important job.